What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and while I was at Best Buy a few days ago, I saw a $150 10-foot HDMI cable, and it made me think that it's time to do another video about HDMI cables so you don't get ripped off. So I did a video about HDMI cables back in 2018, and the one comment that stood out to me was this one. How you gonna recommend a basic HDMI cable for 4K HDR? Look, when it comes to HDMI cables, price means nothing. I've seen $15 cables work better than $100 cables, so a higher price doesn't always equal higher quality. And the sad part about these super expensive cables is that there are a bunch of people out there who actually believe that these cables make the image look better. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's simply not true. Since an HDMI cable is digital, it either works or it doesn't work. Now, before I get into choosing an HDMI cable, I wanna briefly talk about HDMI versions. So without getting too deep into it, here's a simplified chart that shows what type of signal each HDMI version supports. So the older versions of HDMI were all able to use the same cable since they all use less than 18 gigabits per second of bandwidth. So what about HDMI 2.1 cables? Well, you can technically use an older HDMI 2.0 cable with an HDMI 2.1 device and still get some of the new features, but you're likely gonna have issues with 8K since that requires a new cable that supports higher bandwidth. And sadly, there are currently no certified HDMI 2.1 cables, even though some manufacturers claim that their cable is ultra high speed. But this isn't a big deal right now because there really isn't much 8K content out there and there are very few mainstream media players that support it. So for now, I'd say hold off on those. So this brings me to my next point, which is bandwidth. So bandwidth refers to how much data the cable can send. So if it has enough bandwidth to send a signal, then you won't have any issues. But if it doesn't have enough bandwidth, then you'll see the picture drop out or you won't get any video at all. Now, as long as you have a high-speed HDMI cable made within the last few years, it'll usually work just fine for anything less than 4K. But once you get into 4K, especially 4K HDR, you need a lot more bandwidth and that's where you'll usually start to see issues with low quality cables. And if you don't need a really long cable, then I recommend something like this Amazon Basics HDMI cable. And before you judge the cable based on its price, consider that I use the 25 foot version of this cable for all of my 4K HDR projector tests and it works perfectly. Now, if you need a cable longer than 25 feet, then this is where the more expensive cables come into play. So sending a 1080p signal over 25 feet isn't really a big deal, but if you plan on sending 4K, then you're likely to run into issues with long cables. So fiber HDMI cables do a much better job handling high bandwidth signals like 4K HDR, and they can also send data over a much longer distance without any issues. Now, the downside to these cables is the price, but what's nice is that over the past few years, there have been a lot of cheaper alternatives popping up. Now, I can't personally vouch for all of these, but I will post links to the ones that I'm familiar with in the video description. And one tip that I wanna share with you in case you didn't see my other video about HDMI cables is that the best way to research cables is to look at reviews on Amazon. And instead of looking at just the first few reviews, it's best to filter the reviews according to the specific cable length you're looking for. This will let you easily see if people are having issues playing 4K HDR with the longer cables. So if you see comments from people saying that it doesn't work for 4K, then you can move on and find another cable. And I will put some links in the video description for more cable options if you're interested. But that's gonna pretty much do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.